8 a.m. Uh, we started the morning uh, assembly. The major who was responsible for us, girls, a group of uh, 30 girls, uh, giving us the pep talk. You girls, you got the sufficient training. This is the day you start you know, demonstrating your loyalty to the emperor. Do your very best. We said, yes, sir, we will. And at that moment, in the window, I saw the bluish white flash all over. And the next thing I remember is just floating up in the air. The blast generated by the detonation was flattened all the building in the city and uh, the building I was in was falling. When I regained the consciousness, I found myself in the total darkness and silence. I tried to move my body, but I couldn't, so I knew I was faced with death. Then, Suddenly, I started hearing my classmates' voices. Mother, help me. God, help me. Uh, brother, I'm here. So I knew I was surrounded by my friends. In the dark, I just crawled out. And I managed to come to the opening. And two other girls managed to come out. So three of us. But out of about 30 girls. And the woman's hair was just standing up, upward, and every, everybody was covered with blood and burned and blackened and swollen and skin and the flesh were hanging from their bones. Parts of the bodies were missing. Some were carrying their own eyeballs. We have waited 70 years, that's how I feel. And it's too long, too dangerous. The, m uh, the sooner we get rid of them, the safer the humanity would be.